Food insecurity has contributed to malnutrition. Around 550 million people, most of which are in Asia, suffer from this. In order to address this challenge, ERI is working with SDC to facilitate innovations to improve rice yields in ways that are sustainable and beneficial for both people and planet. Corrigap, ERI, is working to improve production and livelihood for more than 500,000 smallholder farmers in China, Myanmar, Thailand, Vietnam, Indonesia, and Sri Lanka. What is Corrigap's strategy? Your gaps we've identified from analysis that we're looking at between 20 and 45 percent. And so if we can address that, then it helps us in the intensive lowland cropping system, which is a rice basket of Asia, to be able to increase production and get towards that goal of increasing rice production by 40 percent by the year 2000. So we bring together people with expertise in quite a number of different areas, ranging from the establishment of crops, growth of the crops, the management of pests through to post harvest. What's so important though is we are, are aligned with in-country partners and they are our local champions and they also work closely with us to make sure that we're closely aligned with the country priorities for the rice strategies that they have, rice strategy plans they have in each country. By using more, uh, improved post-harvest technologies and management options, farmers can reduce their post-harvest losses and such also contribute to uh, reducing the yield gap. By farming with nature, not against it, Corrigap is promoting sustainable use of agroecosystems, which benefits animal biodiversity. Through Corrigap, what I hope to achieve is to identify some, some indicators. Then what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to say that, okay, certain practices will have positive, neutral, or, or negative effects on, on the whole diversity. Big challenge is how to make rice value chains more sustainable, how to ensure that farmers adopt sustainable practices in a chain that where there is little coordination between actors. We have different incentive mechanisms. We're looking at two angles. The first one is the market. Uh, we're looking at whether consumers, domestic consumers, urban consumers, are willing to pay for rice that is certified as being sustainably produced. And secondly, we're looking at contracts. Can we develop a contract uh, that stipulates the adoption of sustainable practices as one of the conditions? Since 2013, ERI, through Corrigap, has been able to reach more than 379,000 smallholder farmers. 86,456 smallholder farmers increased yield and profit by more than 10%. In 2017, farmers in Myanmar saw a most 263% increase in income. This means an increase reaching around 160 US dollars per hectare. About 25% of the respondents believe that they were able to save money due to use of farming technologies. These farming technologies enabled farmers to have a stronger sense of financial capability, have a more diverse diet and more frequent meals, have improved access to healthcare and are able to undergo needed treatment, have increased social capital by being able to donate and contribute resources to pagodas. In the next years, ERI, together with SDC, will continue leading innovations to sustainably increase rice production and with it, transform the lives of countless people who depend on rice for food, for life.